As you can see, season 14 has started, but we're currently in the Ceramic Crucible. And I hate to admit this, guys, but unfortunately, I did not make it to the Hall of Masters last season, but instead, ZOMG Super Dog. But the good thing is, we have a brand new update to cover, and we're gonna be playing good old Bonanza in today's video on the brand new map. So without further ado, Let's hop right into it. All right, so we are on the brand new map, again, playing Bonanza, and this is my first time ever playing. He's gonna be starting off with a ninja. Okay, where can we go for a boat? I, I guess down here? And then we'll also go for a Zilly. I'm thinking like somewhere down here in this area should be pretty good. Can I remove this as an obstacle? Okay, I can. So that is good to know. Maybe then, oh! The cannon shot that obstacle to clear it. That's pretty cool. But maybe tax shooters would actually be the play on this map. Uh, only really though for this spot. Like any other spot wouldn't be as good. Now I'm wondering if we can set towers down on this boat. No way we can. Oh wait, no, this is technically the path though. Okay, so that kind of sort of makes sense. Wait, let's go for, I guess a cannon ship here. But yeah, this is the path right here. So that definitely makes a lot of sense. But we can't even set the ice monkey, for example, which does not have a big footprint size. Uh, to the side of the path even on this boat here, okay? So that's a bit unfortunate. But I was talking about this when the update patch notes first came out. This map gives off such a Battles 1 vibe, doesn't it? Like, it just feels like it should be in Battles 1. And boat definitely seems like it should be a pretty good tower since there's a decent amount of water on this map. Wait, can we... We can set towers... Okay, so we, we can set towers on top of these rocks here, but can't we clear them as obstacles too? Or can we not... No, wait, what? What? I thought we could clear these rocks as obstacles. Okay, that's not good. But we can set down boats in between the rocks, actually. Okay, so a lot of freaking trickiness, I guess you could say, in regards to this map. There he goes with Tentai Church as his hero. He also has the Dartling Gunner. I honestly just don't think that is the play for him. And by the way, since I'm a little bit late to the update, which... If you don't know, I was out of town on vacation. That is why I'm late to posting about this update. Oh my god, wait, why are we struggling? Tower boost. What the heck? Okay, by the way, our tower boost is sick. Oh my god. Bro, I nearly died right there. That's so bad on my behalf. But as I was saying, since I'm late to playing on this map and everything, if you guys have any pointers for me, any good strategies for this map, Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Again, remember, we are in Bonanza, though. So in Bonanza, you could kind of make a lot more strategies work out uh, versus just a like regular, normal, public ranked match or casual match. By the way, like, let's not die here, please. I'm thinking Embrittlement, though, right here should, in fact, be the play. But I'm thinking we're also going to have to go for something else on top of that. So... I don't know what exactly. We, we could go for an Icicles or something. There we go for the Monkey City upgrade on our bottom path village there so that we get even more eco from simply ecoing and we could probably transition into constant purple eco now this dartling gunner though that can't be good for him right okay he's gonna use turbo damage laser bomb he's probably gonna leak here i mean he has a block shot and also oh wait let's tower boost this because i'm scared i am actually pretty terrified but now we're down two tower boosts which is which is no bueno is he able to fully fully defend here Okay, let's go for Icicles. Okay, he had a tower boost. Oh, wait, he's gonna balloon boost. Let me go for Icicles. We're good. We're chilling. I honestly just want to eco with constant purples. I'm not really necessarily trying to kill him, but uh, I'm thinking it might just do that unless he's level three. Okay, he dies. All right, that game, I, I kind of just wanted to reset because that game was just all over the place. So I'll catch you on the next one. All right, so last time I completely forgot to utilize the bottom path upgrades on the boat, of course, to get money. So this time around, we're going to definitely be prioritizing that. But also, we got to make sure that we can fully, fully defend here. So I'm just going to go for a can ship, which is a little unnecessary, but it's whatever. And it looks like one balloon got through, or actually a few. It's all good. Because remember, life advantage does not matter in Bonanza until literally round 100. And we do not plan on taking this game that late or anywhere near that round. So it is fine if we leak a few lives here and there. We just gotta make sure that we are able to fully, fully defend. And I'm thinking that's why he sent those space greens. He wanted to get the life advantage. He has the Dunlin Gunner and also DJ Benjamin. So I'm assuming... Okay, he's got Sniper. I was about to say, I, I thought he was going to be using Dartling Village Super Monkey, but 
Sniper. His last tower probably then is a Super Monkey still, though. And while we go for these bow farms, we are also going to be max decoing, which, by the way, if he sends us space whites here, we're going to have to upgrade. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go for the double shots here. Because we could just go for a radar scanner village in order to grant this boat camera detection. So... Yeah, I think that's the play. And dude, yeah, he just wants to make me leak or force upgrades. I don't freaking know, but whatever, I guess. I guess it worked. Also, I didn't talk about this in the first game, but you guys know I only made it to ZOMG Superdome in the last season. And it wasn't because I wasn't able to make it to the Hall of Masters. It was because I was pre-recording a bunch of content because remember, I was out of town. So I had to make a ton of videos before I left and I actually just ended up running out of time. So I didn't even have the time to make it to Hall of Masters because your boy is a procrastinator and I pre-recorded all these videos pretty much the day before I left. So it was like 3 a.m. and then I had to be up by 9 and I, I just barely made it in the ZOMG. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna accept my L here and not make it to the Hall of Masters. But trust me when I say this, this season, we 100% well, at least on my alt account because if you don't know, I do have an alt account as well, which I, I don't care about my placement and stuff because like, that's the thing with Hall of Masters. I, I like kind of being out of it because everybody and their mother in the Hall of Masters just try hards with the sweatiest strategy of them all. And so it's a lot harder for me to record content where we do like wacky things, you know? Because of course, in these lower arenas, I'm able to pull off wackier things a lot more than I would be able to in the Hall of Masters. And also, by the way, I'm gonna go for the Raider Scanner Village right here, right now. Um, I'm also, can I go for another boat right below this? I think I can, right? Yes, I can. Okay, good, good, good. I'm just going to go for an aircraft carrier right here, right now. Cross about that with the hot shots just to ensure that we're going to be fine here. Okay. So yeah, I think we should have the best of both worlds with one account, at least being in the Hall of Masters. So every now and then we do a sweaty video where I absolutely try hard. And then other videos, we just kind of do wackier things, but in lower arenas, unless I can pull it off in the Hall of Masters, it's not impossible. But again, majority of people in the Hall of Masters tend to try hard they use meta so it's just very very difficult to work with that you know by the way we could probably start equal with purples which if i'm equal with purples i think i would want the bottom path village upgrades okay so that we get even more eco from simply ecoing so yeah we're gonna do that and we already have what 12 merchantmen so we want to go for at least 20 and then after that, we're going to call it a day. All right, we got our 20 merchant men. Now we're just going to upgrade these all to the favored trades. And honestly, I think that's about it for the boat spots down here. Maybe I could have had a bit better uh, pixel perfect placements. But yeah, you can fit about 20 boats then down this area. Can we go for any boats over here? Or no, we can't. Okay, so we could probably go for a few more boats in between these rocks. And that's pretty much it when it comes to boat spots on this new map pirates cove so just something to note there because it seems like it has a lot of water and trust me it does and i think this is a water dominant map hence the name to pirates cove but at the same time we're not going to be able to go for all that many dps boats since we are using boat village ice once again so yeah which also too with that we're probably gonna have to start slowly but surely selling off um all these boat farms oh he's got the super monkey Okay, so I was right about that, but yeah, we're going to have to sell these off eventually to replace them uh, with boats that actually do damage to balloons, okay? Yeah, I think I can only fit three more boats. There might be like one or two more spots again, so yeah, I thought I would be able to set down more. I'm not going to lie, but I, I guess I'll upgrade this to a Pirate's Lord. We'll have this as our carrier flagship because then we, we could maybe set something on top of this like an ice monkey or something i can't set an ice on top of this other platform for whatever reason oh wait can i oh yeah kind of i i wanted my icicle and pale to be right here so yeah i guess well that's that's pretty good right it's not wait actually no that's oh my god this map is difficult because we have to make sure that we pop these balloons before they get to the ship because then we won't be able to pop them again until pretty much right at the end of the map so then that means, I guess, I'd rather have my icicle and pale right before this uh, ladder here, okay? And I'm going to cross path that with the middle path, and then I'll also go for an MIB village since we have a lot of room in regards to the land since we're only going for villages and ices, so I think this is worth it here. Oh, shoot, it's already round 29, by the way, so yeah, I probably should get to setting down these boats. Again, I don't think we can go for any more over like even behind these rocks although 
its line of sight is actually really bad because the blocks are higher same with the ship right here the ship is higher um so the line of sight is not good it's not able to hit these balloons all that much so i guess it wouldn't even really matter even if we could set down boats back here but i guess we'll just wait until the start of round 30 here okay yeah we're gonna start selling off these boats like i said because money's not an issue we already have over one million dollars so yeah money's definitely not an issue here but since he has a super monkey the super monkey is objectively the best tower for bonanza so uh we're gonna have to get to rushing him pretty much as soon as we possibly can because i already know he's gonna be able to out late game us like there's no doubt about that but we've got good synergy in regards to this strategy so don't count us out just yet like if i really wanted to i could have just used probably super monkey village ice which is like the meta for bonanza but uh i kind of wanted to switch it up you know look at the lag this slowly but surely causes as i continue upgrading all these boats to aircraft carriers because of all the monkey aces and stuff it probably looks super blurry as well because there's just so many projectiles going off uh but this guy still has yet to show us any signs really of him wanting to rush us so that is good he gave us time to also just prepare in general um it just kind of sucks because none of these boats have camo detection so in that regard we got to kind of watch out i mean some of them do uh because i did go for some villages and whatnot but uh there's no really room or oh, i could probably go for a radar scanner village on this rock down here right okay yes i can good 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 we'll go for that and as for environments around the map i think just these two is all what we can really go for this map is not very long at all actually and we'll stop eco in here at thirty thousand and five eco uh he's not even ecoing currently either and yeah i, I kind of do want to rush him here well he does have legend of the night so we could just send him one fortified bad here and if he does leak um he'll be fine with the black hole he's gonna instantly tower boost i really want him to rush us here really i can't even find my cursor okay we're good is this level 20 yet it's not okay i'm gonna upgrade to level 20 just so we're ready in that regard we can also probably target our um totem more up here oh he's trying to counter ddt's we have icicle and pale bro are you are you are you good brother i mean looks like the ddt's are actually pushing so just to be safe i'm i'm gonna use a homeland defense there <laughs> okay he's rushing us with a bad so i'll i'll use totem here then because why not oh my god he sent me so many freaking ddt's right there but uh he was able to fully fully defend so fair play well done there's just a lot of chaos currently happening over on our side i'm gonna use our mob hex ability eventually oh wait use it now okay so we can instantly destroy the insides of even up to bad's good pretty much just one shot at that there and we'll go for a zilly here again if we can oh wait okay wait He's only sending us two here i mean he probably depleted his eco guys he really probably did okay let's use a homeland let's buff our isis as well oh my god we're shredding boys okay i use hex and that should be able to destroy both bad's right there one and two good 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 <laughs> homeland hex oh just everything the synergy once again with the strategy is insane i mean that was only 245 bad's here on round 38 when it's bonanza so not too crazy stuff but um i'm hoping he sends us an even bigger rush again he sent us so many ddt's when we had icicle and pale so i'm kind of confused i'll send him another fortified bed here then how about that y you gotta rush with more my friend there's really no room on this map i think you can go for super monkeys on the rocks like for sure he might just not realize that he's gonna use that mad ability he has the wrong cross path on that by the way uh, but ultimately he's probably gonna be able to defend against us once again i mean he's a true sun god down there and yeah he, he's gonna be able to defend bro rush me again please okay now we're getting to the big boy rounds it's round 41 now so uh yeah we might we might send him more than one fortified bed let's try two this time okay he still probably will be able to defend but i'm just looking for a counter he, he's gonna i think he balloon boosted and tower boosted but he's not sending us anything i'm so confused and yeah i think he's gonna be able to handle this set of fortified b oh yes he's rushing us yes okay tower boost counter immediately buff ices we're gonna use that we're gonna hex oh my god look at all the projectiles and stuff i think that should be enough though for now i'm gonna sell you though go for you again if i can okay upgrade to level 20. oh that's all he sent us that's all he sent us hex though just to be safe we'll send more 
So he continues sending more, maybe? No, 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 no. That's that's overkill, because I think he's leaking right now. Oh, he's so dead. He's so dead. I can't believe we're outperforming a super monkey strategy in Bonanza this much. Like, this is crazy to me. But again, the synergy with our strategy, the fact that we have objectively the best hero as well, DJ Ben is simply not the play. Uh, but he just <laughs> he didn't send us another four by BADs. I think setting that many DDTs probably depleted his eco. Yeah, look, it depletes your eco by what 958 per set of fortified DDTs. So yeah, he he probably honestly just has no money, and we're sinking. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, we got the victory. I, I'm assuming I guess he lagged out. He probably rage quit because he knew 100% he was dead. But at the same time, it was pretty laggy. But that is in fact the new map and a little showcase of the new update. Again, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below and if you have any tips and tricks for this map or anything else. But if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where we see if this is still the best Dirtling Gunner strategy in Balloon CD Battles 2. It's Ninja, Dirtling, Alchemist. Three amazing towers all combined into one, so you definitely don't want to miss this one.